I'm delighted to be the recipient of this very special medal. The agreement represents an unprecedented and collective act of will by key political leaders to learn and apply the lessons of Irish history. Even a few years ago, a short few years ago, few of us would have dared to hope for such an inclusive agreement encompassing so much of the political spectrum of the island of Ireland. The central lesson of our history is that any attempt by one tradition in Ireland, or indeed elsewhere in the world, to dominate the other will always end in failure. Victories in any such enterprise will always be pyrrhic, defeats merely preludes. The agreement seeks to lay aside forever and to rest forever the hope or fear that the constitutional issue can ever again mean that the flag decides the outcome of a contest in which the winner takes all. It guarantees that people living in Northern Ireland will always enjoy special arrangements to protect their human rights and to prevent oppression of the minority by the majority, irrespective of the flag or who the majority or who the minority might be. On the matter, indeed, while I had no presidency in my own mind at that time, the two great challenges we in Ireland faced, it was his willingness to take risks for peace, and more importantly even than that, his capacity to inspire others to do so. He maintained an open door impartially at the White House for political leaders of all traditions, ensuring that he was not just a friend of Ireland on St. Patrick's Day, but every single day. Personally, a marathon running companion of my husband's father, Paul McNeillis, but I sat beside Leo and we left the two marathoners to talk running.